So YouTubers, it's Forky Cookie 45 LC coming to you for the hot lead zone, and we're not dealing with hot lead here. We're dealing with hot nacho sauce. And it's hot. In temperature and also a nice little zestiness. So we're gonna serve these in these little paper containers tonight at the July 4th, and it's gonna be fun. So here's how we made this. Fourth of July. So you take a pound and a half of hamburger and you throw it in and start cooking it and break it all up into little chunks. So it's a total of about two cups of salsa until it looks nice and tasty. Like so. Then we want to get the big jug. That's a six pound, ten ounce can of cheese and in it goes now this is the cheddar cheese and you could also use que bueno so Jen tells me that this is really Trisha's recipe so we'll call this Trisha's recipe so we stir till it looks uniform and dip a chip for taste. So YouTubers, what separates this nacho sauce from the run-of-the-mill nacho sauce that you get at ball games and things like this, number one, it's the hamburger meat. The more meat you put into it, the more body the, the, and more popular the nacho sauce is. And you don't normally get uh, that kind of meat in your nacho sauce. But also, the addition of JC's Red Dawn Spice Sauce. This stuff is powerful. And we like to call this afterburner. Because when you go to afterburners, it's what happens after you eat it. And uh, JC's Red Dawn Spice Sauce gets us there. So a little more of that hot sauce. And some people like to add some jalapeno peppers to that. Tabasco could be added. That's good. Yep. That's good. So YouTubers, we got in a crock pot to keep it warm when we are ready to serve it. And that's got a definite burn. We can feel it right now. It's a great party. And uh, nacho sauce for the 4th of July. Summertime doesn't get any better than that. Bye for now from the hot lead zone. Or the hot nacho sauce zone.